Rainsy, a 2 0 defeat. How do you explain that one? Um, tight game again, similar to last week. Um, tight game of football, but have been undone in a similar moment in the game inside the second half from a, from a set piece. And um, disappointing to give the away side again the advantage with a of a soft goal potentially like their real first real shot on on our on our goal and um, again it's come after when when we've had good chances without without being at our best today on the ball I thought we were quite um, scrappy at times and we could have played with a little bit more quality and composure but I thought we were um, we were in control of the game and it's a shame to shame to concede at that moment I thought the response at one nil was was positive and again we've had a couple of half chances. Um, Aaron Gilpin doing really well, getting to the byline a few times, and um, on another day, like one of those headers, will, will nestle in the corner. But um, disappointed with the way it finished, to be honest with you, when obviously conceding the second goal, and then um, I felt like it could have got away from us, to be honest with you. D disappointed with the response, we've got to really be a little bit better and show a better mentality and a little bit more character to make sure that we um, we stay in the game because the boys watching the football today, the game is never over until. Um, the referee blows the final whistle. You've always got a chance. You can score two goals very, very quickly, and the game um, game can obviously turn. But I felt, yeah, that that needed to be a little bit better. But overall, um, thought we just lacked a little bit of quality. But um, yeah, disappointed to concede that first goal and give them the advantage. The goals again, quite sloppy. I guess same as last week, quite sloppy. Is this becoming a, a worrying trend for you? Yeah. Well. Yeah. Absolutely. Conceding goals is always. Is always a concern, and um, not being able to score and convert is also as equally as um, as equally as concern. It's something that we're aware of, and we need to just get better at, show a better focus, and improve obviously in both penalty boxes, defensively and in, and offensively, because we're we're in games at the moment, competing in games that are tight against good sides, and we can't seem to be able to get ourselves in a position to to win a football match. Um, for some reason, there's something something lacking there. We've got to dig deep to find out what that is and find the solution. Change of formation today. What was the thoughts behind that one? Yeah, we played um, played three five two and three sort of box one with wing backs for um, a large part of this season and last. And we just felt um, having conversations with with people like the manager and the um, the assistant that he wanted to see certain players playing. Um, in different positions because obviously he's trying to sort of um, assess them in terms of whether they can go in in his squad and also for our boys as well like it, it's a different tactical challenge and it's a chance to go and learn new things and um, offensively as well it just mixes things up for them it gives everyone sort of a um, um, a new a new idea and a new a new slightly way of playing but um, more for the benefit of the boys um, than anything else just to just to keep them developing and their learning progressing in terms of learning how to play in a different shape and possibly for some of them a slightly new position so um, in terms of you know, like youth development I think that's really really important that um, they've got the boys can go into whether they go into our managers um, team next year or another managers they're able to sort of be flexible and say they've got experience of playing in whatever shape that manager wants to play I think that's I think that's important so um, I thought the shape today like I thought we did well we just um, we kept a good shape defensively. I thought, from an attacking perspective, we needed to get more support around Charlie at times, and just play a little bit higher up the pitch. But um, it's early days, and with something to work on going forwards, I guess. Jack Lees came on today, an under 16, and seemed to, to do all right out there. Yeah, he's been on the bench for the last <coughs> couple of games, and um, potentially we sort of been looking at in those games whether we could, um, whether we can get him on today. We thought it was right, and. Um, like fair play to him, I thought he added to what we were doing. To be fair to him, I thought he um, he did himself um, he did himself proud in his performance. I thought he was very good on the ball defensively, snuffed things out, putting some good tackles, intercepted, and um, he had a good effort from 25 yards. Like I said, I thought he added to to what we did, and that'll do his sort of um, self belief and confidence um, no end of good. It'll give him the the. Uh, it will put in his head that he can play at this level as an under 16 and he can um, yeah he can handle himself so obviously Jackson under 16 sort of um, we're trying to sort of assess for um, scholarship next year and he's done he's done himself extremely well there he can be really pleased with that 40 minutes that he's done and looking ahead to Tuesday night the big game in the FA Youth Cup yeah um, how are you how are you seeing that one um, we're it's a game that um, 
you know, the boys are obviously very much looking forward to it. It's a competition that they love playing and they want to progress in it. So we're going to, have, you know, we've just said in there that we can't dwell too much on today's results for for the vast majority of, ga- of the game as well. We can be happy with our performance. I sort of said to him in there that wasn't quite happy with what happened in the last 10 minutes. But um, it's a game that we're very much looking forward to and we need to dust ourselves down and we'll be working um, on Monday now. Uh, we've got our training session to make sure we're prepared for that. And like I say, it's a game that we want. We obviously want to very much go out and win and put in a very good performance. And um, I think if we play in a sort of similar vein to what we've done in the last two games, but handle sort of the big moments in the game is better when we're being asked to defend set pieces and other parts. And obviously, I would still like us to show a little bit more quality on the ball and pass it a little better. I think um, we've got a very, very good chance of going to win that football match. And out on the big stadium pitch in front of some fans, it's going to be a different experience as well, so that's good for the lads. Yeah, I think that's one of the things they most look forward to, playing on the pitch and having a little bit of an audience there. And um, it's obviously good experience going forwards because to play in a stadium where there's a few more people and a few more noises, it's something that all of them probably have to get prepared for, whether they play in Shrewsbury Town's first team or if they go if they go somewhere else, normally men's football is played with a slightly bigger audience and you get a few people who obviously encourage you, but sometimes it can go the other way. It's all part of their development that they've got to learn sort of how to handle sort of expectations from the crowd and um, like a few more no- noises, positive or negative. So great experience for them, something that we um, always touch on when we play those matches, that it's part of the, um, part of the event that they've got to handle. But... For me, like I'm really looking forward to it and being a part of it, and it's one the boys look forward to, to as well. They shouldn't look at it and be worried about the occasion. It should be one that they want to thrive in and one they want to be a part of because it's one of the one of the um, joys of being a footballer to play in a big event. So, yeah, hopefully we're all geared towards it and looking forward to it. And just one quick final one: Jake Kerrin's got a nasty knock today. Yeah. How, how's he? He's gone to hospital. Um, he had quite a nasty cut to his head and he was slightly concussed and. Yeah, unfortunate for Jake because he was playing extremely well in today's game and he'd started the last two and looked like he was really enjoying his football. It was, um, like I say, a bit of a blow to lose him today, but obviously we wish Jake the best and hopefully um, hopefully he's back sooner rather than later. But um, yeah, obviously the main concern at the moment is just making sure he's OK and his mum and dad have gone with him just to the local hospital to make sure he's all right.